So question 5a, easiest way to solve this is just by cross multiplying. Okay, so cross multiplying means you multiply, you just go 3 times 23, this times this, right, equals 5 times x, 5 times x, and then you just solve the equation. Now let me quickly prove to you that cross multiplying works. Okay. Do you agree that two thirds is the same thing as twenty over thirty? Is that the same thing? This fraction equals this fraction, right? Those fractions are the same. So you agree you agree with me that this equals this. What happens when I take the two and multiply it by thirty? What do I get? I get sixty, right? Now what happens when I take the three and multiply it by twenty? Three times twenty? Sixty, right? So when I have two fractions the same and I cross multiply, then you know this times this is always equal to this times this, right? So I'll give you another example. Uh, two fifths is definitely the same thing as six over fifteen, isn't it? Right? And now if I did this 2 times 15, I'd get 30, right? And if I did this, what's 5 times 6? 5 times 6, also 30, right? Okay, so cross multiplying works. So what we get is 3 times 23 is 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 2 is so 69 equals 5x, right? And then just divide both sides by 5. Five into that goes one time, remainder one, five into that goes three times, remainder four, thirteen, and uh, four fifths as a mixed number, right? Equals x. Or you could just leave it as, you know, sixty-nine over five. Whichever you're asked for, this would be the mixed number form, this would be the improper fraction, right? 